Welcome back to the ABCs of podiatry. So now we're on the letter G, and G stands for gout. Gout is caused by an increase in levels of something called uric acid in the bloodstream. When the levels go up, it tends to precipitate in areas that are cool, like the big toe joints. And here's an example where it was uh, significantly advanced and poorly controlled, where you can actually see uh, the gout crystals or uh, uric acid exuding from the joint itself. So gout is caused by an increase in uric acid and there can be two reasons for uric acid to go up. Number one would be something called under secretion. So that means that it's not being eliminated as effectively by the kidneys. And the other reason would be overproduction. So that's where too much uh, uric acid being produced for a variety of reasons, whether it's because of dietary intake or other reasons. Certain types of foods can increase the levels of uric acid in the bloodstream. Examples would be alcohol and red meat. The most common joint affected with gout is the big toe joint, and that's why it is a common occurrence to see in a podiatry or foot ankle specialty clinic. In fact, when gout affects the big toe, it has its own name. It's called podagra. Treatment is available for gout, and this includes dietary modifications and or restrictions, lifestyle modifications, including exercise. Uh, there are a variety of medications that can be utilized to treat an acute painful attack or the chronic syndrome where we try to get the uric acid levels lower in the bloodstream. Surgery is exceedingly rare for gout. Sometimes with cases like this where you have the actual gout tophus exuding from the joint, it's important to undergo debridement to clean it up because uh, otherwise there's risk for infection. Gout can be extremely painful. It presents as a red hot and swollen joint and even a light brush of a bed sheet against the toe can cause severe pain. In fact, Hippocrates described gout as the unwalkable disease.